Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we are going to listen to the cosmos because we are going to be playing Voices of the Void. This is a game I have been wanting to play for a while now. It has taken direct inspiration from Signal Simulator, which is another game I didn't play, which is based on and inspired by SETI, which is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Essentially, in this game, we are controlling a massive array of radio antennas, and we have to essentially manage them. We have to find different signals in the cosmos, extract them, and refine them, and uh, sell those files for a profit so we can upgrade our systems and get deeper into the game. Might sound a little confusing, but we're going to get right into it and start the story mode today and see how we can do. All right, and here we are, day one on the job. So yeah, I just got thrown into uh, the game here. Now, I have played a little bit, so I understand the basics. Uh, first of all, we should probably get to base. It is the middle of the night right now, and I can't see a damn thing. But yes, yeah, super excited to get into this one. Uh, hopefully, we can listen to the cosmos. You can see one of my radio towers over there. There is quite a few of them. Okay, I think we have finally made it. That was like way too... That was like a four minutes of walking just to get to my actual base here. Uh, now, I can't see a damn thing, but I am not sleepy at all. So, I guess we're going to have to deal with the nighttime right now. There should be... Uh, yes, we have power in... I guess we don't have power on the inside. What the hell, man? All right, so we just need some lighting in here. Let's... There we go. So, there's one right there. And here is... Well home base all right here's where all the magic happens uh i just want to make sure do we have everything set up so we have all of our servers over here these can things can shut down we have a console over here where we can ping all the different radio towers this is a map of the radio towers so we have as you can see well pretty much every letter of the alphabet so 24 that we are going to have to deal with. You know what? Let's get right into it. I want to hopefully find something right now. So we are pinging the cosmos looking for different sound signatures or radio waves. And yeah, that's what those red arrows were. Now, the cooldown on this is absolutely insane. As we go about this and get some actual uh, sounds on drives, we can sell those for a profit and uh, inc or lower the cooldown of this. Uh, but there's also a lot more other things we need to do as well. Okay, so there's one nice and close here. The smaller the triangle, the closer it is. And that is our first sound or radio wave in the cosmos. So I'm going to ping that, see if it actually is, because sometimes they're not. And we have a sensor error already. Great. Thanks, game. Okay, one's nice and close here. I swear to God, if I get another error here, ooh, this one's far away. The smaller the circle, I'm assuming the further into the cosmos it is. Uh, so that's where all the aliens are, obviously. Some of these are going to be boring. Other ones are going to be really cool. And we did get our first successful ping, so now all these satellites are rotating over there. We would be able to see them if it was daytime, but uh, it is 1, almost 2 in the morning right now. Also, I think we have daily emails, so welcome to your new job. Uh, Dr. Kell, my name is Lee your main supervisor. You've probably got through the learning period, but I'll remind you what your job is and what to do. In short, your job is basically scanning the sky for animal anomalous signals. That's a hard word. That is your main task. Another task is to process the data of these signals and send the data in stored, yada, yada. I've pretty much explained what we're doing in this game. And this one's basically saying we get daily tasks via email. And if we do those tasks, we get extra money for upgrades. And as you can see, there is a lot of different upgrades uh, to make our system faster and uh, better. Speaking of that, are we uh, locked in? I'm pretty sure the satellites are locked in. So now we have to essentially filter the signal. So we want to toggle polarity filter. This is the top one. And we are going to be looking for the right polarity. So, I mean, I, I'm not going to pretend to explain that I know exactly what's going on here. But essentially, we want output data to be 100%. Uh, so polarization is not at right. So we're going to go to linear. And it is a linear polarity. So uh, there's left, right, and linear. You have to find the one that it's on. So now that we're on the right one, we are going to slow down, down the, the degrees a second that this is rotating once we're at the uh, spot that it wants to be at. So now I'm going to try and fine tune this, getting it to as close to 100% as possible. We'll go down and do one at a time. And there we go. 
more or less good enough. Now we need to find the frequency. So we are going to go and look for that. It was actually already on it. So usually it's not this easy. But yeah, just like the polarity, we just want to get this output data to 100% by looking for the correct location. And 99.9, 99.9, that is good enough. Uh, the closer you are, I believe the faster the download is. And we are downloading from space, so this is going to take a long time. Uh, again, as we upgrade our system, this should be a little bit faster. Uh, so we don't know what it is yet as we uh, start downloading it and getting more data. We should learn exactly what this signal was. Now, the big goal for me right now is to get the computer level upgrade. We are currently zero out of three. That is the biggest thing we can get because then we can actually essentially process this data. There's three different levels of how you can essentially refine this data that we get. So right now we're getting very basic data. If we get computer upgrade one, we can process that data and we might get a little more information on it. I think I'm very bad at explaining this. So hopefully we can get the computer upgrade and you can just see how it works later. Right now, essentially just we are getting very basic data on whatever we are finding out there but yeah we still have to wait for this to go so let's make sure everything else is going right right now and just look around speaking of looking around we have uh, a telescope on mars not really sure why you can't seem to move this so i'm gonna keep an eye on mars i don't know what's going on there but i have a feeling aliens will be there or something oh okay so this is a ram stick interesting this is uh essentially uh, a, a ram stick this is what you store your sound bites on uh, a green light means there's already data on this. So I just found that on the ground over there. And we have some sort of data here. So we might try and play with that later. Let's actually see. Uh, if we upload the data to this PC, we can actually listen to it. And change the visualiz visualization mode. Uh, it is saying something. R run? Ran? Raw. What the hell does raw mean? All right, so very rarely we get actual text, but you can get text out of this data. All right, so I'm going to save this signal. That will go to this PC. We can actually put signals in here, and I'm just going to call this one raw. Now I have that data saved, and when we upgrade our PC, we can refine this data and see if there's any more information in it. And now we don't need to have this stick around with the data in it because it's already saved to my actual PC. Now I can sell this for a profit. So free money, I will take it. Looking around more, we have batteries for our flashlights. Uh, this is more RAM sticks. Uh, so that's for all of our data. This is what we sell our data in. You can actually get drones to come in and pick it up. So we will be doing that daily. I believe this is our garage. So we do have... a. A garage with weird mannequins around. There's there's definitely some creepy things going on in this game. What does this say? Put the box with the drives on the spot so the drone could pick it up. Okay, so yeah, there is notes kind of explaining how to play around. Uh, there's a lot of, like, hidden items, though. So I always want to look behind things. Because, yeah, look at... I found a repair kit for my Tesla Quad, or whatever the hell this thing is. So this is how we get to the different radio towers uh, to fix them. We'll be doing a lot of that in the near future. I'm not seeing... Whoa, each what the hell? Why is there just rocks in here? What is this? Tools to break the boxes with. I mean, I mean, I guess a stone was, you know, humanity's first tool, but I wouldn't really call it a tool. What boxes? Can I break these? I mean, I am seeing wood chips. I think you can throw. Yeah, the throw doesn't seem to be doing much, though. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I'm hearing my computer do something. So we might actually have the data done. What are we looking at right now? Okay, so it's downloaded 100%. We still need the detector to go to 100% as well. Uh, so we'll give that a chance. This is an interesting signal, though. Usually you'll see a planet or something. You get a lot of planet signals in this game. I don't really know how planets make sounds. I'm not going to pretend to understand everything about, you know, getting radio frequencies and extracting them. But this just looks black. It just looks like a random sound in space. We might get more detail as we wait. I'm going to go explore more of this place because we do need to find food. We do have food somewhere. Oh, this is... I don't like the mannequins all around. Why is there mannequins here? There we go. We got coffee. Oddly enough, coffee is a great source of food in this game. So as, as long as I have food, that's the good thing. Uh, we have other things here. Like, what the hell is this? Is that a cucumber? 
All right, Cucumber, come with me. You shall be my friend since there is nobody else in this game. You are the Wilson for me. All right, so now I have a friend Cucumber. We'll put that on the desk here. Are we done yet? Oh my God, this, this system is so slow. It's looking like sunrise is about to happen so you can actually see in this game. Let's actually check the satellites. So we do have to actually use console commands here. So we're going to sv.ping. This will essentially ping every uh, radio tower and it's sending packages there. If we receive all the packages, the tower is fine. If we do not receive the packages, tower's broken. We actually have to go out to it and fix it. Thankfully, everything is running perfectly right now. All servers are up. Uh, so, I mean, it is the start of the game. I didn't expect them to break yet. But yeah, everything is running very, very well. Now, this is 100% done, so now we can actually save that on a stick. So we'll put that in there. I'm going to save signal. That pops it up here. I can upload it right to the stick if I want to, but I also want to save the signal once we play it. Let's listen to this one. So again, being that we're not refining this data at all, a lot of these won't sound like much at all at the start until we get computer upgrades. So we're getting no te text de data detected. And it just sounds like static. Interesting. I've played a little bit of this game and I've never had an unknown. Like usually you'll have a moon or a sun or a planet. Unknown's kind of eerie. Uh, so I definitely want to save this one. The un known and as we get upgrades we can extract more out of that that sound data all right so yeah until we get upgrades that's the very basic strategy of this game until we have to actually ma manage these towers we ping the cosmos look for these pings uh and then slowly download the data look at that usually it takes a long time to find these things we are going very very fast at the start of this game that feels good and another successful ping talk about lucky now you can actually see the towers they are rotating okay definitely seeing some sort of structure on this reading i think it might be a moon it doesn't look planetary but uh there's at least something on this all right and now that it's daytime you can kind of see the beauty of this game there's something eerie about just being in the middle of nowhere around all of these towers and it goes really far like over this mountain there is more towers and I have to manage all of these things. All right, first thing we're going to do, these guys creep me out at night, so I'm just going to yeet them into the forest. I swear, if, if one of these start moving, I am uh, uninstalling the game. All right, I am wasting too much time. Good thing we actually have a planet. Uh, signal quality is normal, but the frequency is below average. All right, well, a moon's not the most interesting of things. I mean, mind you, a moon making sounds is kind of creepy, but... Um, Usually, these don't give me much at all. Let's just uh, play that signal. Sounds a lot like the other one. Again, until we start refining these, they're probably all going to be very similar in terms of sounds. Oh, I heard something there. So they definitely are different sound files. That's interesting. So I'm going to start collecting these. We get daily tasks to uh, do these things. So yeah, I could technically sell them right now. But I didn't get a daily task for day one. So I'd rather wait till I get a daily task uh, and have these collected so we can actually get daily tasks done. Because then we get extra money. So yeah, we are just essentially pack ratting signals right now. And we are getting so lucky. This never happens for me where there's just signals right beside each other. Usually it takes a long time to uh, find these things. And we got a sensor error. Okay. Okay. Found one not too uh, long after. Let me actually see those satellites. Watching them all turn at the same time. I don't know why. It just is so cool to me. These things are massive too. When we actually go over to them, you'll see that. Uh, but yeah, things have been running so smoothly right now. We are so lucky. And looks like every... Oh, I, I jinxed it. I can't say positive things. Juliet is down. I repeat, Juliet is down. So now we are going to target Juliet. Uh, which will essentially turn our compass into a GPS over to the right satellite dish. Because uh, it's actually really hard to figure out who's who's who's. So we're going to SV target Juliet. And, oh, I spelt it wrong. And that's why the server's not found. <laughs> All right. Make sure you type things right. Server found. So now that compass at the bottom right, uh, the red will point towards the Juliet satellite. All right. So before we go, let's get this new signal set up so we're not wasting time as we are out there. Uh, but yeah, once we filter this, we'll head out and repair that radio tower. 
Okay, good enough for me. 99 on each. So we are starting to download that. I'm actually going to also turn off systems. So energy is a big part of this game. It is daytime, so we don't need lighting. I think everything else is kind of important. But yeah, that will essentially make the download go even faster. So hopefully by the time we get back, that will be done. But yeah, let's go uh, tend to poor Juliet. All right, and it looks like we are at Juliet right now. It was actually really close to the base, so we got lucky. We're getting very lucky in this game. Uh, but yeah, here is the massive radio tower. Radio dish? I don't actually know what they're called. <laughs> Regardless, you guys understand. It's the thing that listens to the cosmos. And look at, I love when I go up here, just like seeing them all. You truly appreciate how many there are. And there's some over the mountainside too that are way further away. All right, but yeah, we actually got to repair this thing. So red means it's offline. So now we need to get out our calculators and set this thing up. It's very simple. Essentially, you have to use the last digit of this mathematical equation and input it on the in and out. So two minus two, last I checked, that was zero. Eight minus nine is one. You get the idea. Three, five minus six, that's negative one. Uh, there is no negative, so you just put whatever digit it is. Four minus two, negative two, two. Nine minus four, five. Four minus five, negative one. And nine plus five, last I checked, that was 14. So as I said, use the last digit. And there we did. I, I can't do math, can I? Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Now everyone's going to judge me. What did I get wrong? <laughs> God damn it. All right, let me take my time. Let me get out my calculator, I guess. All right, seven plus seven is 14. Did, did I screw it up again? No. See, I can do math, damn it. Don't judge me. Shut up. What the freak just happened to me? Did I get sniped? What the hell was that? Did I, did I trip? All right, there's weird ghosts that are trying to trip me here. So I'm going to get out of here. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Uh, another same planet. Did I like get the same one? Dude, I tell, I swear there's so many different things in this game. And I think we just got a very similar planet. That's kind of funny. What the hell? A burger just spawned in front of me. Okay, there is ghosts trying to feed me now. What the? What was that? Did I eat it? Just trying to make sure all the rest of my satellites are all right. All right, so we're testing that. We'll check that in this. What the hell? What is going on? Okay, okay. Someone's trying to kill me. There is ghosts in here that do not want me to be here. This planet is possessed. I, I, what, what? It just spawned in front of me. I don't like this. What, it just vanished. Okay, what, ghosts? All right, so correction. Super exciting news. This planet's red. The other one was gray. So it is different, just slightly. All right, so let's play this sound. Okay, just just killed me again. Yep. I mean, that sounds like a sound. Can I get up, please? Thank you. Uh, ooh. Okay, so this one. So essentially, from what I understand with the hashtags, this is an actual text message that I haven't decoded yet. So again, we have to upgrade the computer to extract that. But that is very interesting. There's burgers everywhere. Okay, you know, oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. I wasn't too worried about my food because I was I was over 10. I think I'm getting like hallucinations of food because I'm starving. Is that is that the issue? All right, so we'll eat a burger. There we go. We went up to 27. Let's just eat another burger. 47. Was that my issue? Go away, you invisible. <laughs> I kind of love that. That's so smart. If that was the issue, that's actually hilarious. We'll call that exoplanet uh, text with a question mark. And again, when we upgrade our system, we can copy this file and hopefully get more data off of it. But again, we just want to sell these things right now because we haven't upgraded our PC. But yeah, this is great for day one. Uh, usually I don't get this many sound signatures. So if we can get one or two more. We are, we're, we're going to be rich in this game. All right. After a sensor error, we got another ping. Uh, this one's exciting. Okay. I really want to upgrade my PC now. It's very tempting to sell these, but... Again, tomorrow we should get a, a daily, and usually the starting dailies are to sell these. All right, I am a tired boy, so I think I'm going to go to sleep. It's only three right now, but I don't want to start hallucinating again. It's kind of uh, creepy. So we are going to turn back on the lighting because, uh, yeah, w waking up with pitch blackness is always fun. We can now sleep in my horizontal, or sorry, vertical bed. And the sleeping in this game is kind of insane because it's very slow. You actually do. I mean, it's obviously faster than real time, but you it actually takes like a minute or so to sleep all the way up. So it's kind of nice because you can see what's happening outside. Uh, looks like we have a storm coming in. That's actually bad because uh, that might actually shift my frequencies, but that's OK. We can just fix it in the morning anyways. 
What the hell is that? Whoa, 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 what was that? Did you see that? Something is going on on the outside. I hope I stop fast enough. Oh! <gasps> oh! I... I've played through multiple days of this game and I've never seen this. So obviously it's a meteor shower. Um... Dude, that just looks so nice. I love this game. All right, well, I guess I'm up now. What a time to be up. Uh, I didn't fully sleep, but I wanted to stop to see that. I wonder if that's why uh, the sleeping goes so slow. The events actually happen at night. All right, let's see how we're doing. Uh, okay, so yeah, that storm definitely threw me way off course, as you can see, which usually happens when bad weather comes. So I just got to realign this. And we also have our drone coming in, if you're curious what that noise is. It should be... Oh, actually, I wanted to try and jump on him to get to the roof. So let me see if I can... Don't... Don't... Don't leave. So he gives... Oh, he doesn't come all the way down unless we sell, I guess. Uh, he gives us daily supplies, though. He's a very nice drone. Open up. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, so we got a drive today and coffee. How exciting. Ah, oh, we got our first daily task. This is what I was waiting for. So we need one signal of level zero. One? Okay, I, I mean, I, okay, so the level zero means we didn't refine it at all. This is, these are level zero signatures. So we can technically sell one. We might actually sell multiple. Also, we need to check a satellite and make a report on Bravo and November. This is something I, I've never done, but I think I understand how to do it. So we will try and do that tomorrow. Essentially, we have to go to those satellites and get a code. I don't think I can do it here. So we need the hash code. Uh, so SV dot hash, I believe it was Bravo that we wanted. I think it gives me an error. I did try this once before. Cannot access to satellite. So I'm thinking if we go over there and try it on their console, we might be able to get the code. And we need that code You get an extra 25 points, which is a lot of points in this game, actually. So I do want to definitely try and do these if I understand how to do it. All right. I didn't realize I could sleep again, even if I'm wide awake. So I'm just going to sleep till daytime because I don't want to go look for satellites in the middle of the night. It's just creepy out there, man. All right. Let's see if this thing is done yet. 99.9. .9. Look at my timing. It's impeccable. And done. And let's play this one. All right, so no text data. This one sounds deeper, oddly enough. Again, uh, the signal is object. What kind of object is it? Oh, I'm definitely gonna save this one. This is, uh, this is an interesting signature. So we're gonna save that. That goes over here. And I guess I'll just call this one well, object, obviously. Okay, perfect. So there is another signal done. Dude, we have so many little signals already. This is great. Uh, before we go out, let's obviously waste no time. Find another signal, one nice and close. Perfect. Okay, now that that's done, let's see if we can uh, get this next thing done. So I just want to double check I have everything. Uh, so we need Bravo in November. So I'm going to ping one of those. Probably Bravo. That's usually close. B right there in November. Uh, that one's a little bit further away, so we'll do B first. Oh, and we got Lima down as well. Okay, great. And Quebec down. Oh, God, it's going to be a busy day. Oh, my God. There's four down? What is going on out there? Oh, God, I got to go. Okay, Bravo's actually down right now as well. All right, so we'll go to Bravo first, fix that one. And, oh, my God, that's four servers? I'm going to spend so much time out there today. Thankfully, this is a long download, so I'm not wasting time. Okay, here we are at Bravo. First of all, we should fix it. So, again, basic math. I'm going to edit this out because I'll probably get it wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, first try. Nobody's going to believe me that that was first try. <laughs> okay, so now we need to SV dot hash Bravo. Actually, do we even need to put Bravo in? Hash code. Okay, there we go. 1RCGJ. Oh my god, I got to remember that. Uh, so we may as well just do November really quickly. As that one is further away. And let's head out and get that code as... Oh god. Oh no, no, no. I just wanted to save time. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna roll all the way down the hill. Thank you, tree. You have saved my life. All right, and here we are at November, and we got another code that I have to uh, fill out. Okay, so I got my two codes, hopefully written correctly. And now I just got to fix the rest of these god-awful towers. All right, let's see how we're doing here. So we should... Yeah, this is definitely done now. Another planet. 
How very exciting. Uh, so yeah, we will put this on this one. I'm not going to save it unless there's something interesting in the sound file. Just because planet ones are, from what I can understand, pretty basic. Yeah, it's got the no text. Sounds like every other one. So add it to our collection of done things here. So now the only thing I know is I had this piece of paper on my desk and this is the report form example. So satellite name and hash code. That's exactly what I did with this piece of paper. Okay, they did put capitals on their names. I don't know how serious this is. So let's just make sure uh, we do this right. And do I have to do anything else? It's, it's very weird to me that I have to like manually write this out on a piece of paper. But yeah, I think that's what we do. So now we can tear that off. And I think we put that in the package with whatever else they want. And hopefully we did it right and we get all these points. So just pick this up. Oh, no. Put, go away. Thank you. Just double checking. I'm pretty sure they just wanted one. Yeah, one signal of level zero. All right. Take your pick. Sure, this one looks good. We'll package up that. And we'll take my note. And does that go... Does that go in there? Hmm... I was hoping it would just go in the package. What happens if I close it? Okay, note is on the top. Wait, is it stuck there now? Oh, I think it is. Okay, so I think I did it right, actually. Open up this little panel, and this is my drone calling panel. So now the drone's going to come in, pick it up. Aha, what is that? What are you? Is that freaking bullets? Is there, is there just bullets here? Oh, I don't like that there's bullets in this game now. Um, I can't use them. I'm trying to hit use. I guess I have to find the gun. Oh! Good thing I came back up here. We have another one with a level zero sound bite on it. Well, we'll definitely listen to that in a second. Sounds like the drone is here. I'm going to try and jump on it. Actually, we should probably jump on top of this. And I have to go for the running jump. Here he comes. All right, little guy. Or big guy, rather. Let's grab that. <laughs> and let me on, please. Oh, I go right through it. Okay, goodbye. I guess that's not how we get up on the roof. All right, so that daily should be done. Let's also play this. This is the one I found in the garage. Oh, I need to upload it first. You have found me. Yay. I LMAO on that stuck drive. What a loser. What? <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Okay, well, it's another level zero drive. I'm not sure what that's about, but I guess it's a free drive. Ooh, I have an email. What? What do you think? Nice job. 18 points has been sent to your account and just got the report. Checked it seems fine. 50 points. Okay, so I think I did do it right. Drive package has been successfully delivered. Five points have been sent to your account balance. Not sure why I got an extra five. I think I get five per level zero recording. So that's probably the extra five. Um, We can't gather anything from these. Too much noise and data is too crushed. Keep going, pal. I hope you'll find something decent someday. Uh, so yeah, obviously a level zero is very basic. Let's chill out, doctor. I'm just doing my dailies, man. So that is 73 points. I think that is more than enough. Yes, we can upgrade the computer to level one. I don't know if I want to immediately go to level two or if I want to upgrade some of my other things, like download speed would be uh, a good idea. It's 10 points to upgrade my ping speed. I think it would make sense to do that. I'm going to upgrade download speed once as well. And I didn't realize that was 20. I probably should have thought about this first. Uh, but yeah, that's all I can afford right now. And I got 13 bucks to go to the store. How many drives do I have left? I think I'm running low. Yeah, I'm down to three. So I think I'm going to buy a couple drives. Oh, batteries are 10. Uh, I think I'll wait for the batteries. I still have a few of those. I think I'm just going to buy two drives. That's it. Just to keep the stockpile up because we can go through them fast. All right, let's see how fast this ping is now. Before it was 22 seconds, I believe. Now it's 30. Maybe it wasn't 22. <laughs> what? It, that doesn't feel faster at all. All right, but now that we have the computer upgrade done, we can actually refine some of these. I really wish... Oh, they're unnamed? I wish I named them. I don't know what is what, but we may as well start upgrading some of these. So upload extract data. And then if we hit start process, we can refine this data. And this is where this game gets really interesting because you have to refine it more and more. Uh, this sometimes takes forever depending on the file size. I guess the one thing I could do is check the file size and base it on that. So the one I'm really interested in is this uh, exoplanet with the text. It's 1.3891 megabytes. Now I could just recopy it on a different drive, but I might be able to find it here. 1.3891, that is it right there. <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. So yeah, we'll put that over there. 
This one was interesting too. The object that didn't have any picture. Uh, kind of curious what that is. So that's two, three, seven, one, two. All right, and there is our first one upgraded to level one. Now you'll see there's a blue uh, line on these that dictates it's level one. Let's listen to this. No idea which one this one was, but we will upload that and play. Ooh, less static, creepy noise. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, well, that's doing that. Let's waste no time. And this is the one with text that we saw. So we are going to start processing that. And yeah, this is giving me the creeps. It just sounds like a, a nice, peaceful, eerie hum. Unfortunately, getting no text, so no information on this. But wait, is that even from this? Why is it still playing? So yeah, I think it's just the light static you hear. I don't think it was that at all. It was just, it started at the perfect timing. All right, way less interesting, but I think that's probably just a basic planet one. Again, we'll just add it to the collection here and wait till we get a daily that requires a level one. Okay, we got a, ooh, a white dwarf, our first star. How exciting. All right, so we'll save that signal. I wonder if I have to name it here. I don't know how we name it though, because I can scroll down. Oh, I can scroll down this list. So I can add multiples to this clearly. I'm gonna save this signal and then see if it changes when I name it over here. Cause I'd rather name my drives than have to look at the file size to know which one's which. So I'm gonna call this white dwarf. Not that I'm really interested in a white dwarf. Mind you, listening to a sun might be cool or a star. And yeah, it's still unnamed. I don't know how to name these things. Okay, so I copied it and now it's over here. So now I should be able to scroll down to it. Kind of a whole process here to do this, but yeah, now I copied it over. So now if we hit play, sounds like everything else that we heard so far until we refine it. All right, but there we go. We got the white dwarf data. How's this doing? 85% almost done. I don't know if we'll refine that or not. If we have time, we will, but uh, let's continue looking through the cosmos for more of these. Okay, this one's done. This is the one with text on it that we saw, but we didn't actually learn anything about the text. Okay, so as you can see, we are slowly extracting the text data. We're getting very few letters right now, but if we upgrade our PC even more, we might actually get a full sentence on this. Something out there is trying to talk to us, which is super exciting. This one gets me really excited. Unfortunately, didn't get one word out of that, but uh, a few letters at least. What? I was just sleeping. Is this... Is this a dream? What the? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is where the aliens are going to probe me. I swear to God. What the frick is this? Oh, what is going on? Is that water? Is this... Is this normal? Oh, I don't like... Can I, do I have to find the escape or something? Oh, okay. Well, just woke up. Don't know what that was about. How exciting. I can't do basic math because I'm too tired. Oh my, I just ran oh, so far. I'm glad I can open a door when I'm too tired. Oh, I shouldn't have went. I can't even run. Oh no. This is a freaking nightmare. So now I have to walk home. I don't even remember where home is, but I know it's this way. Can I fall? Thank you. This is going to be way faster. Never mind. Ugh. Oh no, 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 no. What did I just stumble upon? I'm too tired for this right now. Is this real? Did I just find a femur? Uh, day 14, is this infinite? I don't know. It keeps going down, down, down and down and down, and we have no rope already. At least these yellow metal walls have ridges on them, so we don't have to climb on dry-ass concrete walls. We don't give up. We are going down for answers. Oh, I don't think you made it up. What, the, what is that referring to? I mean, obviously, that's something. So we have to go down somewhere. Interesting. I need to get home before I die. That's all I'm concerned about right now thankfully home's right there all right new day same idea with the daily task i did everything today so i need two signals of level zero and level one this is why i'm storing my uh signals because these are going to get more and more complex as we go all right so two or sorry one level one and two level zeros and then i also got the page here hopefully with the codes written right so we're going to crumple that i hope we can buy a new book so we only have 12 pages <gasps> I crumpled it. I crumpled. Why did I crumple it? Screw it. I'm just sending this off without the codes. We still should get some money. 
Oh, not again. I'm just trying to sleep. What is this? What the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, what? Um, oh, god damn it. There was another one there. Okay, so I'm I'm not crazy. Things do attack me in this game. Qu weird little shadow people. Now, oh my god, you wasted all my sleep too. How am I supposed to sleep or get sleep if my sleep is ruining my sleep? It doesn't even make sense, but it does. God damn it, now I just gotta sleep again. Oh my god, this is this is getting weirder and weirder. Why why are different things happening? What is this? Can I can I have these? I'm gonna put this in my inventory. I can't put it in my inventory. Lame. What the hell? That thing just moved. That thing's got eyes. Oh my god, I just realized the walls are caving in. Oh, this is Oh god. Did I die? Please don't tell me I lost my sleep again. Oh my god, what the Oh, I'm 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 okay. I'm back. All right, and let's see what the daily task information has gotten me. So 46 more points. Uh, can't do anything without a full report. I did do the full report. I just crumpled it because I'm a big dummy. I also got 20 points for that package. And I like these. They were more processed because I can hear something, but I'm not sure what. Anyways, nice job. Seems like the doctors are enjoying me. And today I need four signals of level zero and one signal of level one. Papa and Lima need to be uh, found. So yeah, I think you guys get the idea of this game. Uh, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here because it is getting quite long. Uh, I'm super intrigued by this game. There's just a lot of backstory. There's weird hidden things like finding the human remains in the middle of the woods. I'm kind of curious where this game's going to go, why we're looking at Mars. And yeah, it's just super fun to hunt for these uh, different radio signals and refine them. So I got 65 points now. That should give me enough to upgrade the computer to max. I think I will do that to um, decode that text file that we got. But yeah, I'll be doing that in the next episode if you guys are enjoying this, of course. So yeah, once again, this is Voices of the Void. I should also mention this is totally free on Itch.io. I'll have a link at the top of the video description. I do recommend you support the developer, though, because, well, uh, clearly this is a great game made by a single developer. But yeah, you can get it free if uh, finances are tight. Link will be in the description. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.